Hi, I'm Mike Hiding with Sunny's Water and today I'm going to show you how to change the membrane in your RO system. First step we're going to do is shut the RO system off by pressing the system on off button and holding it until the system shuts off and we're going to turn the water off, main water off to the RO system. Once you have the power off and the water off we can remove the clamps. Um, you're going to need a half inch wrench and socket and we can remove these bolts and these clamps are going to then just come right off. Depending on the number of of uh, membranes on the system. A lot of them are teed together, so you're gonna have to take off two clamps to do um, each membrane, or one membrane. Once we have the clamps off, we're gonna need to remove the caps. The caps aren't gonna likely come off really easily, so we're going to take a flathead screwdriver and we're gonna pry on them. We're never gonna pry up into the cap, though. We're always gonna pry this way, so we're prying into the stainless steel. Um, and you may have to work your way around the cap a little bit until the cap pops out. Do the same thing on the one behind it, the two that are teed together, until that one's ready to come out also. And we can get these, just fold them out of the way. Once we're to this point, we can pull out the membranes. We want to make sure we pay attention to the arrows on the housings and which way that the membranes would go in. Once we're to this point, we have everything. We can pull the membranes out. As we pull them out, they're going to be full of water. We want to make sure that we grab inside and never grab on the nipple just in case we're going to replace these or not replace these and we're checking them. As we pull these out, we're going to have lots of water that are going to come with them. So once we have the old one out, we can take this and throw it away and we can grab our new one. Um, for this exercise, this is already a new membrane, so I'm just going to put it back in. Before we put the new one in, we're going to want to put some kind of a lubrication on the O-ring, on the seal. Um, we can't use any silicone or petroleum-based products. Um, we can use a hose lubricant, evaporating hose lubricant, or um, something that all car washes have handy, dish soap. Works very well. So you can put a little dish soap on, and then we're going to replace the membrane. So after we have the O-ring all lubricated up, um, we want to make sure and check the flow on the membrane itself. All of our membranes are going to have a flow arrow on them also, so we can match it up with the arrow on the housing, and we know which way this needs to go in. This is a flap O-ring, so we can't just put it in and push, or that, that O-ring is going to flap up and let water by. So we need to gently put it in and start it. And as we're inserting, we need to spin this O-ring down and in. You're gonna hit some water towards the bottom of the housing. They're still gonna be in there. And we need to just continue to push and spin as we do that. Once we get all the way to the bottom, we wanna give it a little extra push and make sure that it's all the way in. We can then take our caps, replace them back on, push them all the way down, and replace our clamps. As we're tightening our clamps, it's very important to note that we do not want to over tighten these clamps or you're going to oval the housing and cause a leak. So we want to make sure that they're nice and snug, but not over tight. Once you have that all snugged up, we can turn the water back onto the RO system and turn the power back on. That's how you change an RO membrane. Check out sunnysdirect.com for all of our other maintenance videos.